Edmodo just came out with a new update and it's incredible. They have all of the same great features that you like. They have feathering, AI retouching, AI color correction, but they also have AI culling. And something that I love about Evoto is it's not the scary AI where they're taking other people's pictures. They're just editing your pictures with your own photo so it stays your own. And right now they have a big sale for Black Friday. It's 35% off any subscriptions, 20% off of any add-ons, and then they include some free backgrounds and presets. It's a great deal, so look in the description down below for the links and the coupon code. When you use our coupon code TONY15, you get 19 presets that are not included in the sale. So be sure to use our code TONY15. And this video is sponsored by Avoto, but I love them. My friend Sam showed me this editing software and I have not turned back since. Let me show you how it works. So first they have culling and they have libraries. So you don't have to pull in from another source anymore. You can use Avoto to organize your photos. I go into my library and I'm going to go over to the projects tab and click plus. Create a group. I'm going to name it Maddie Halo. Now I go into my folder and I'll drag my entire folder into Avoto. And just like that, all 33 pictures are dropped in. Now here's one of their cool new features and it's AI culling. And what it basically does is it gets rid of all of your one star photos. So you can go into your culling preferences. I'm going to select portraits and have it choose I think they're mostly good pictures, so I'm going to go 25 out of 33 pictures. And um, here we're going to have it detect any closed eyes, any blur, and it can start calling now and go through those photos for you and get rid of all the worst ones so that you can focus on choosing all your viable options. So we'll, we'll go into my groups and picked, select it, and then you can go through the photos to choose the ones that you want. You can see that they're all in focus, the eyes are open, and that's a great place to start. I already know that I like this picture of Maddie, so I'm going to select it and then go into my edit panel. And from here, this is where things get fun. Um, so you gotta chill, because you're gonna have fun and you might go overboard. I'm gonna take you on a little journey through the editing. The first thing that I like to do are my color adjustments, so you click color adjustments, the little paint palette at the top. And I love the AI color adjustments. So you go right here to AI color adjustments and the little arrow on the side, click it. And now they have recommended styles where they already preload it with styles where you can click on them and give your picture a specific look. But I like to upload my own and I uploaded this painting because I thought this picture of Maddie looked kind of painterly and I wanted to replicate that. So I'm gonna go about 50% on that. And then from there, I'll continue updating with my own edits. It's a good starting place, or you can completely color match one of your photo set. I'll show you what I mean later. All right, so now in my color adjustments, you can see they have all standard adjustments too. So I'll bump up my exposure, my contrast a bit, put my exposure down. I like to pop the whites just a tiny bit and I'll drop the blacks to get a little more contrast in there. And then they also have a color grading panel and I like this because it's very precise. I wanna add a little bit of blue green into the shadows and then you can use this little slider to make sure you don't go too far. So I'll do that. And then the mid-tones, which is her skin, I'm gonna add a little bit of orange back into that to warm her up. And you can see the before and after is already dramatically better and we haven't even gotten to the most fun part. So those are the AI color edits. And you could make that a preset right now by going save presets and apply this to your whole photo set if you want. But I wanna keep going. So up here in this panel, you go to the second one down, portrait retouching. And when you select it, you'll see this huge panel, blemish removal, skin touching, hair, makeup, body reshaping, everything. I like to start from the top and work my way down. So let's start at the top with blemish removal. Warning, warning. This is very easy and very fun, and it's easy to go overboard and end up with a Barbie person. Let me show you what I mean. If you go 100% on face refinements, your subject is going to start looking like plastic. 
So I think you should pick what you like and then dial it down a little bit more from that. I like to smooth her skin, but then I like freckles. So I'm completely leaving her freckles alone. And that's the kind of customization that Evoto allows. You don't have to just blanket apply something. You can keep some freckles. You could even keep some acne if you wanted to. I, it's not something I'm interested in, but okay. Um, and then I'm gonna reduce the eye bags a tiny bit. Hey, we've all been stressing. Um, I like this one, wrinkles and lip flakes in the winter. We all get some, some flakiness going on there. And a little bit of dark circle. It still looks natural, right? But just a little improved. I always add some double chin, even if people don't have a double chin, because it adds that nice hard line under the chin. Okay, and then this is what's also nice, which I think Avoto helps you take your photos to a more professional look. It lets you do refinements on the body skin. And that traditionally has taken so long that it's something that photographers have overlooked. You can quickly remove body blemishes and then you get a more polished look. Again, you can go a little bit on the slider. You don't have to make it look plastic. Now we'll go to skin retouching and this refines the skin retouching even more. The traditional dodging and burning that I always did by hand, it's the same edits. It's just one click. Just one click. Very subtle. Keep it small. I'm warning you, things could get really crazy. Body skin, again, you can even and dodge and burn that. There's even frequency separation. You could add, you can change the skin texture. Sometimes I'll add like a, a satiny look to give some highlights. And you can unify the face complexion, which Maddie doesn't need. But if you have somebody with rosacea or a sunburn or something, it evens out skin tones quickly. It's really incredible. Okay, she has really great skin. I don't need to be doing all this. But let's look at a before and after. Already, it's a huge difference. Now, there's all sorts of things, facial reshape, facial expression, teeth. I'm not gonna mess with those right now. I'm gonna go right into eyes and just up the brightness a tiny bit. Once again, warning, if you do it all the way, person will look insane. You really have to be careful. A tiny bit, less is more. And then I like the iris flare as well. So let's zoom in on her eyes so you can see. Subtle, subtle, subtle. They have a remove glasses glare feature, which is so cool. She's not wearing glasses, so I can't show you. Uh, eye white enhances nice, just a tiny bit. And when I'm done with each panel, I like to close it. Otherwise, it can get pretty cluttered. So one of my favorites is makeup. And I like to go into the makeup suite right here. Click that. And then my favorite is nude because it's pretty natural. And then again, I dial it way back. Let's look at the subtle changes. Just a little bit of color, a little bit of blush. You can go up here and you can refine it. If you wanna add a little more blush, I'm going for this kind of ethereal painting look. So I'm gonna blush her out a little bit. And um, for her lips, I'm gonna go more like a pinky nude because of that kind of Renaissance looking look. All right, let's go to the blush. I can see I, I overdid it. All right, there we go. It's pretty much there. Look at the before and after. Like, that looks so much better. Uh, the next panel that I love is hair. This is another one of those tiny details that makes your picture look so much more professional. Let's zoom in on her hair. And you can see that there's some flyaways, totally natural. Uh, you can get rid of those. So stray hair removal. And it gets rid of them within the hair and outside in a natural way. Again, I don't go all the way. You can go all the way and get that very cut, crisp line if you're looking for that. I, I like a little bit of natural, just cleaning it up. And then also, I love the smooth hair feature. Look at this. It just, it takes like little flyaways out of the hair itself. So the styling that you did looks a little more clean. Like, so natural. No one would think that this is AI because it's not generating a fake image. It's taking your existing image and doing all of those little cleanups that you would do. Also for the hair, I sometimes like to add a pop of color back in. Um, 
because sometimes the color can get kind of flattened by the light in the studio. Her hair has a little red tint. The color grading gave it a, a little bit of a, a brassiness. So I'm just, I could do that in color grading too, but I'm gonna do it here and just add her natural red back in. I'm not giving her a different hair color. I'm enhancing her natural color. Another thing you could do is you can change or clean backdrops if that's something you can do. You can go into this clothing de-wrinkle feature. If you have someone in wrinkly clothes, you can clean that up. It's really incredible. But what makes this very streamlined is that now that I've edited this one picture, it was fun, it took me a few minutes, I can save the preset, Maddie Halo Photos, and select the AI color adjustments and everything, crop and rotate if you'd like, I'm not going to do that, and I can save it. Now, if there are other photos that I like in the set, I select them, I go to my preset panel here, and I'll do Maddie Halo Photo, and all of the presets, it's instantly applied so that you don't have to individually edit every single photo in your set. This makes your workflow so much faster. And if you wanna make it even faster, Avoto also has a tethering feature where you can hook your camera up to your iPad or a laptop and you can actually load them into Avoto as you shoot and start editing right there. So you can see them on a bigger screen, your model can see the photos and you can get to work right away. You could have your pictures shot, cold and edited on set within a couple minutes and that's really incredible. That's one of the things that makes Avoto amazing. You can see that I took my time and I put my own touch on editing the photo. It just makes me more efficient and makes me faster. This is one of the best tools for photographers on the market right now. I use this instead of Lightroom now and also Photoshop most of the time. So this is incredible. And right now they do have that Black Friday sale 35% off your subscription, 20% off of add-ons, and then also the free presets and backdrops. So check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, and tell me what you think. I have sold a couple friends on this by showing them little demos in my house. It's very addicting. It's very fun. And once again, be careful. Don't go overboard. Thanks. Bye.